Today we're going to start a Mad Lib. Before we begin creating anything in Director, we have to plan for our Mad Lib. So you're going to notice that I wrote a sentence. Jack and Jill went up a hill to fetch a pail of water. So you're going to create your Mad Lib first. Then what you need to do is identify what is it that you're going to have the user enter. So. I'm going to look at this and I'm going to begin by saying we're going to take out the name Jill and let the user enter in a name. So we'll have a name here. Then we'll take out the word hill and we'll have the user enter in a noun. We're going to take out the word fetch and we'll use a field called verb. And to catch a pail of, let's take out water. And that will be another noun. Now remember, when you are creating fields, no two fields can have the same name. So I'm going to call this noun two. Now, notice that I'm going to have that period all by itself. So when I enter in my field data, it's going to look like this. Jack and there's going to be a space where Jill is. Just one space. Went up a, again, I'll remove hill and just have one space. Two, again, just one space, a pail of space and a period. When we create a Mad Lib, we need to number the words that are in the original document. So we're going to do that now. So this Jack is going to be number one and is going to be number two. Remember, we're leaving out the name. So went is going to be number three. Up is the fourth word. A is the fifth word. Two is the sixth word because we're leaving out the noun. A is the seventh word. Pale is the eighth word. Of is the ninth word. And believe it or not, that period all by itself is going to be the tenth word. So we've now done our planning and we are ready to go into director. I am now in director and I'm going to set up my first scene. My first scene is going to request the input da data using fields. My second scene is going to take that field data and place it into my field that has my story to create my Mad Lib. So let's get started. We're going to first create our text cast members. So I'm going to click on my text cast members. Let me change this background. And my first question, I'm just going to stick with a font that we know is in all of computers. I'm going to go to Comic Sans. Make this a little bit bigger. And I'm going to say, enter a noun. Oh, no, a name. That was our first text. Let's hit the plus key. Next, it was enter a noun plus enter a verb and enter another noun. So we have our two nouns. Let's go back to our file. We have our name, our noun, our verb, and our other noun. Now, let's set up our fields. For this movie, I want to create a smaller stage size. So back to my stage, I'm going to click on my stage and give myself a movie property much smaller, 320 by 240. The reason being is this last product is going to be published for the web. I'll show you that at a later time. 
So we're going to make a smaller stage size, something web appropriate. Let's take our text cast members and add them to our field, to our stage. Now, these are all on the big side, so I'm going to stop and adjust them. As you can see, I've adjusted the fonts to 24 point. That's easier to fit on the stage. In addition, I made a title, my first Mad Lib defined a color, made it a little bit bigger, 30 points, and made it bold. So I want it to look nice. In addition, I added a marker for the beginning of my scene and a hold on current frame at my end of my scene. So go ahead and do that now. You can pause me. We are now ready to create our fields. To create your fields, go to your tools. Be sure that you've changed from default to classic. The field icon is the bottom left right next to the push button. Click on the field icon and draw your field. This will keep with the text and the font size that you have chosen last. That's going to be fine for me. The important thing is that you must name your fields. So notice in my cast I have my field but it is not named. This is the name so I'm going to give it the name name. Whoops, wrong one. This one has to be name. So click on the cast member that is the field and name it. This I have to remove because you can't have two cast members with the same name. There we go. Let's draw another field. Click on your field button and draw your next field. This is going to be called noun. Draw another. This is our verb. So we're naming the fields. And our last one. And that will be called noun 2. So each field represents an input data. I'm going to highlight all those fields by holding down the shift key. I'm going to go into my property inspector. I'm clicking on my field tab. I must make them editable. But in addition, I want the user to be able to tab from the first field to the second, to the third, and to the fourth. So I'm going to make them tabable. Let's put a little shadow box. So I'm going to use a two pixel shadow box and let's take a look at the way it looks on the stage. They're overlapping because they're big. I'm just going to adjust my stage now to make them look better. Right. Go ahead and do that now. So what you've seen is I fixed the fields, I double clicked on the fields, I made the font 20 point, I thought they were too big. I also added a border, so when you click on the field in the property inspector, you're going to see I still used my two point or two pixel border and then I one, a one pixel border and a two pixel box shadow. Alright, thanks for following. So I've set up my scene the way I want it to look. Notice again that the fields are tabable. They will wrap, so if they're extra long, no worries. And they're editable. So I can tab between the two, and I can edit them. 
Now it's a matter of let's test and see if it works. So let's enter a name. I'll say Lisa. Notice I'm hitting the tab key, enter in a noun. And that is, uh, let's say, a tree, a verb, ran, and another noun. How about dog? So, so far, everything is working the way I want it to work. I'm happy. All right. I think I might want to say a past tense verb because a past tense wor verb works better here. Well, ran, a pe we'll keep a regular verb. That's okay because that's for fetch. Fetch doesn't have to be past tense. Okay. All right. Now it's time to set up our second scene. So this is going to be our story. So make a marker for the beginning of your second scene, and I'm going to call it story. I'm going to copy my hold on current frame, and I'm going to put it at the end of my second scene. In my second scene, let me go to my text window, and I'm going to write my story. So I have a heading. Let's put that at the beginning of our second scene. All right, there we go. We've got my story. I don't need that keyframe. Let me move that keyframe. Okay. In addition, I need to create a field that has my story in it. So if we look back to my notebook, I need to create Jack and went up a to a pail of and a period. So let's go ahead and create that, but it has to be a field. So I'm back in my director movie. I'm going to go into my second scene. I'm going to create a field and I'm going to type in my field Jack and notice I had said just one space went up a blank to blank a pale of space period. Let's just check and see if this matches what our plan was. Oops. Let's go look at our notebook. Jack N went up A, here, I'm, I'm comparing, went up A to A pail of, and I've got my period. So I'm, it's working, it's working. I'm clicking on my text. I do not want this. Well, do you like the border? Your choice if you want to keep it or not. I'm going to just move this over so it's in the middle. I have to name this, and I'm going to call this Field Story. S-T-O-R-Y. There's something else I have to do. When I go to play the movie again, I must cre have a story redo. So I'm going to right click on this field. I'm going to copy my cast member. I'm going to go to my next field and I'm going to paste my cast member. But instead of calling it story, because we know no two cast members can have the same name, we're going to call this one story redo story redo so now I have the story in twice all right it's time to write the lingo scripts in the first frame I need to add the lingo scripts that will delete the contents of these fields do you remember how go ahead and write that script see if you can do it on your own before you come back here pause this movie. So I've just written the script. Sorry about the bell. So I just written the script that deletes the fields. Delete field name, delete field noun, delete field verb, delete field noun two. 
in quotes are the names of the fields that we've defined earlier. There is one more code that we have to write here. Actually, there's two. We need to delete field story. And the reason being is when we finish the story, we're going to take our fields and add them to the story. So to play again, we delete the contents of field story and then we put in a new code called put. And it's put field story redo, put it in quotes, story redo has to be typed exactly the way the field is written into field story. This is going to reset our story so it's back to the original so we can create or play another game. This script can be found on the handout stored in Aspen Pages for your Mad Lib 1. So we have our first script there. Now it's a matter of writing our second script. We're going to go back to our score and we're going to put our cursor in the frame at the beginning of our second field. We're going to continue using those puts. And the way we work with this is we end up putting the field either before or after a word. So we counted those words for a reason and we're going to use that now. Now when you fill in this story you want to be able to fill it in backwards. This way you can accommodate more than one word. So we're going to start with noun two. Remember how we counted our words? That period is considered number 10. You can see it clearly, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whenever you use the period, you have to use the word before. So let's take a look at how the script is written. Again, refer to the handout or to the file stored in Aspen Pages labeled Mad Lib 1. So here we go. I'm back at my story. I'm going to double click on the frame at the beginning of my second scene. Change the word exit to enter. And I'm starting backwards. Don't forget, start backwards. I'm using the command put. Well, what am I putting? I'm putting field and it's field noun two. So in quotes, noun two, space. And I write the word before. It has to be before because I want to concatenate. I want to merge this field with that period. We don't put a space before a period. So before and that period is considered a word. Word 10 of member, cast member, and what's our member? Story. We're adding our words to our story. Now, I always recommend testing this out to see that it works. So I'm going to close this out. I'm going to rewind and play my movie. Notice that it erased all of my fields. Let me see if I can get 100%. There it is. I'm going to enter in my noun 2 and I'll say dog. When I go to my second scene, I haven't added my buttons yet. You'll do that later. When I go to my second scene, just put my cursor in the field, notice how it stuck dog right before that period. So we know, yay, it worked. Well now, let's go to the next word. So I'm going into my notes. 
we're going to put in a verb. Now, you have a question. Do you want to put, use the word before or do you want to use the word after? If we use the word after, it goes after the word to, which is word six. If we use the word before, it goes before word seven, which is the word a. I'm now going to show you how to use the word after. Now, if I put it after, I need to stick a space in here. So I have to put the space in my script first. Here's how we do it. Go back to director and double click on that script that we just began. In my case, it's in frame 10. Hit the enter key. I want to put a space. To put in a space, I use quotes with a space in it. Then I use the ampersand, which is the shift of the seven. That means I'm going to concatenate a space with the field. Field, and my field name that I'm adding, remember it's backwards, is my verb. After word, what word was that? After word six. So after word six of member story. Let's test it out. So I'm going to go back to my stage. I'm going to rewind and play. I'm going to put in my verb, let's say, ran, oh, to run. And my dog again, go to the beginning of the next scene and notice my verb and my space. It worked. Let's do one more and then you're going to do one more on your own. Stop your movie. Let's go back. We're working backwards. This is now going to be our noun. This time I'm going to do it before word six so you can see where my space goes. All right. So here I'm going to take out, I'm going to add my noun. Let's before word six. Double click on your script. Let's continue to add. Put. I don't put the space first. I put the space after. Field. And this was a noun. Field noun. Here's my ampersand. Add the space. And now before word six of member story. And don't forget to put story in quotes. All right. So let's test the movie. Rewind, play. I can add my first noun. Let's say hill, tab, my verb. Uh, we'll do fetch. And my other noun. Okay, I'll stick with the original, water. Go to my second scene. And I have Jack. I still need to add my name. Went up a hill. Notice the proper spacing. To fetch, proper spacing, a pail of water. So far, so good. Now, on your own, can you try adding the name? Then finish up this story by adding buttons, both in the first scene to go to the second and the second scene to go to the first, and you will be done. That is your first Mad Lib.